I titled the book um, Capture the U-505, and then the subtitle is A Legion of Heroes. And in the research that I did to put this book together, I just kept coming up with one hero after another, and it really developed into a legion. I'm going to introduce you tonight to three or four of those heroes and a couple of the events that took place uh, during the Battle of the Atlantic. And uh, I'm going to talk rather fast uh, because uh, there's a lot of information to get across to you in, uh, in a limited amount of time. Um, the, the Battle of the Atlantic was the longest battle, continuous battle, uh, in, the, in the Second World War. It lasted from September of 1939 to May of 1945 when the Germans uh, surrendered. The capture of the U-505 was one of the most extraordinary stories to come out of the Battle of the Atlantic. On the 30th of May, Gallery's task group running low on fuel, he decides to go to Casablanca to refuel. His crew determines that they're going to be on a parallel course with this submarine that's returning to France, and they are determined to get it. On the 4th of June, 1944, Captain Lang surfaced the U-505 at 0200 hours, and he remained on the surface until uh, sunrise, at which time he submerged. At sunrise, the task group recovered four Avengers that were out on patrol or night patrol, launched two Wildcats for the day patrol. At 1100 hours, Gallery is sitting in the skipper's chair on the bridge having his coffee when the PA system announced that the Chatelain had a sonar contact with a U-boat. At the, at the same time, a sound technician on the U-505 reported propeller noises at, uh, off their stern. Lang orders the U-505 up to periscope depth. Uh, he scans the surface and shouts, destroyer, dive, down periscope. What he didn't tell the crew was what he saw was three DDEs two aircraft overhead and a carrier in the distance, he was right in the center of a hunter-killer task group. 